What's going on guys? To intuitive 717 I am back with the Saucy Bossy and we're going to dive right into some messages around the collective here. Um, I am getting the words sent and unsent. Okay, I keep seeing that here. And what I am getting is that someone is in your energy or someone is trying to get your attention, but they want you to be the one to reach out and initiate communication. So they'll send you a message and then they unsend it, hoping that you will communicate or ask if everything's okay. Um, so just be mindful of that, guys, because I do feel like like someone needs your energy in order to keep keep up whatever it is they have going on. That's what I'm getting. Okay, let's get let's get your energy. Okay, how do they see you right now? Okay, so we have cycles and we have completion. They may see you as very quiet you're closed off to them because you've completed the cycle of games with them which is why you're observing them at this time trying to do the same old thing okay i feel like for many of you you're not saying a word with the butterfly over her lips there because you're ready for a change away from this person and that's what they're maybe afraid of which is why it is they're trying to get into your energy again because they can also maybe feel that you're closed off so it's almost like what i'm seeing is like trying to get in there one last time to see if you're really done is what it, is what i'm feeling and for many of you, you're maybe smirking because now you're getting to have the last laugh because you're not going to end up replying to this person at all. And it's going to be left at they've been trying to initiate communication with you. Even if they've unsent the message, you already know. Okay, your guides could be assisting you as well. We have ancestor guides giving you a clear warning or a heads up to not say a word with the butterfly. So be mindful of butterflies around you at this time, especially if a lot of you are getting communication from people coming in from your past. Um, trust your gut. Your ancestors could be there tapping on your shoulders, letting you know to trust your gut about this person coming back in. I feel like somebody is coming back in to test you. And your guides may be warning you through dreams. What card flipped back over? Higher self activation as well. A lot of you may need distance away from this person in order to activate, like I, I'm feeling like other layers of your higher self, okay? This person is holding you back from ascending. They want you to remain in an energy where you're always playing some kind of game with them, always waiting around. Um, and I feel like that's why we have the word cycles coming up because many of you are starting to recognize the cycles and that's why you're quiet. You're quiet on this person. And they may feel foolish now for even coming your way even sending that message to you even if they unsent it you've left them feeling foolish in a sense okay the higher self activation also tells me you're not in the mood to play any games with this person either and that's what they've gathered from your energy and the thing is about this person i'm getting like they really didn't even want to come your way i feel like it was really hard to do and now that they've gotten the sting from you of you remaining silent, I'm hearing, man, like they're really like cringing over the fact that they they reached out at a time like this. Okay, um, sorry guys, <laughs> it just is kind of slipping out. Let me ask the uh, the deck a particular question. Okay, what's your best course of action when dealing with this person if they try to attempt to reach out to you again? What's your best course of action? What does the universe want you to know about where you should be headed? How should you deal with this person trying to come back into your energy again? Okay, so we have perseverance, which is keep on moving forward because you have some kind of victory that you're headed towards. And that's why you're not to slow down at this time. You do have companionship with the horse carrying you. So I do feel like ancestor guides there is really important. Um, I, a message that I'm getting for some of you here, even with the, um, the, it's a lot of wands energy here, okay? I feel like it's taken a lot from you to close out the cycle, okay? It's taken a lot from you to walk in another direction. Many of you are headed towards building some kind of success for yourself. Um, eight is about advancement, okay? And with all of these wands in the way, a lot of the times too, like I do get the word competition at times, or it could be a lot of eyes on you, or even the words I'm hearing is distraction, okay? Um, notice how the person's on the horse here, and it may seem like, okay, so they're carrying their wands here. Other people are in the crowd as well carrying wands. I, feel, I, I do feel like somebody is trying to come in to distract you off of this path, off of this victory, 
okay they could be trying to do things to get your attention like i said reaching out trying to send messages make you curious about their energy and what it is they have going on what it is they're up to um but keep on moving the horse is about companionship i feel like your guides are sending you protection to keep you focused on moving forward otherwise i feel like if you were on foot it would maybe be easy for these people to either spiritually attack you or take your victory in some way but i feel like your ancestors have sent companionship for you to keep you safe in some way and people around notice this they notice that you're protected especially through your silence here okay um when people look at you what it, what do they see okay these people who are trying to get in your energy and distract you mm -hmm. Maybe you guys are about to bring the heat. <laughs> what do they see? What are they anticipating? I feel like they maybe can sense something that you don't just yet. Okay, so we have the page of pentacles here. Okay, so many of you could be marching into new ideas when it comes to stability or just even grounding yourself, period. Because page energy is about messages or messengers. Okay, and you are getting ancestor guides as well. Oh, sorry, sweetie. So some of these messages here that are coming through is a new start. I feel like a, a very new start for you. It could be a new idea. Can we clarify the Page of Pentacles? What do others see? What do they see you heading to with this Page of Pentacles? What's this new idea about? So I feel like a lot of you could be sharpening up, okay? Um, and what I mean by that is you're completely focused in a different direction. You could be taking business seriously, okay? With the companionship that's being offered with the horse here and the six of wands. And remember, six is an energy about perseverance, okay? I feel like a lot of you with the cycles and completion card, you've been through hell and back with the games this person has played with you. Um, and I do feel like because the cycle has completed, part of their karma is reaching out and being left in silence because maybe the old you would have been at least gracious enough to find out if everything was okay, but your guides are blocking that, okay? I feel like a new beginning in love for you as well. Many of you may have somebody who has their eye on you that wants to offer you a new beginning in love. A lot of you could be getting messages around new beginnings in love. Maybe you're, you yourself loosening up and because part of this victory here that you're experiencing i'm hearing that your ancestors are stepping in because this could be karma for somebody who now all of a sudden because you're unbothered okay you're they see that you're still marching ahead experiencing victory they thought that you would have been waiting around for them right waiting around for their message right so that's why they're trying to pull this whole i'm going to reach out to you to get you curious about me and many of you are like no or i feel like a lot of your guys are stepping in and a lot, of, a lot of your guides are sending you that energy to have firm and strong boundaries because they have plans for you. Notice the crown here at the top of the sword. I feel like many of you with this ace here, it, there's a new beginning, but this new beginning can't come until you close off the cycle with this person. So for a lot of you who will catch this reading, your message is to leave that as unsent. Like if somebody reaches out and they unsend the message, don't even bother. Let them be the ones to clarify okay if they've made a mistake but don't you go falling for the bait um is what i'm i'm hearing with that okay because you have a new beginning ahead of you and there is a victory here in the area of where you're supposed to be some kind of purpose okay and i am getting strongly for a lot of you it is um like a beginning in not only new love but just like a new love for life um, when you let go or when you close off a cycle, you oftentimes feel like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. And I feel like um, like it, 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 you see life differently, falling in love with life again um, without this attachment here. Okay, having like when you have the courage and the confidence to let something go and say no, or you finally have the courage to build that boundary and tell that person no. Um, it's like you feel like a huge weight has been lifted off your shoulder. It's like you don't come, you don't care if they come or if they go. Okay, what has this lesson been teaching you, and what can you look forward to in the future? Okay, look at that. We have the death. The cycle's completed. 
And with the Death card and the Ace of Swords here coming through, that's a beautiful, beautiful sign of many of you continuing to do what your guides are telling you to do, which is march ahead on the horse. You know, even with the Death card, a lot of the times for many of you, it's hard to do that right now. Okay, a lot of you could feel drained with these cycles here closing out. You could feel the need for more sleep. Maybe that's why a lot of you are having a lot more um, vivid dreams right now, urging you or warning you about certain people in your life. I'm hearing too with the death card, a lot of you saw this person reaching out to you ahead of time. You knew this was going to happen. You could feel it in the air that this person was going to do this. I feel like your guides have been warning you ahead of time that their energy is resurfacing, their energy is coming back. You have a conscious choice here because I feel like with your ancestor guides, um, they really wanted to close this out here with the death card. The, the death card's a major arcana, meaning like, I feel like this is something that really needed to happen for you and your guides were cheering you on, but there's only so much that they could do because many of us have free will, okay? But they were doing everything that they could possibly do in terms of sending us the signs, the messages. That's why a lot of you were becoming excited at the prospect of walking away and doing something new because new opportunities were presenting itself. Many of you have relocated, you've moved, um, your social circles are growing, you're connected with more, you're connecting with more like-minded people. A lot of you thought that the, that spark or that feeling of being attracted to other people centrally or sexually, um, you thought that that was gone forever once you stepped onto this twin flame journey, but I'm seeing that you're being pleasantly surprised by your guides who are rooting for you because they see what you can't see. And this person here who's trying to come back into your life with this send, sending a message and then unsending it, hoping that you'll be the one to initiate communication here. I feel like your guides are seeing what they're doing. So your guides are whispering gently into your ear that, hey, listen, you keep forging ahead because we are trying to end the cycle off once and for all because we have this beautiful golden opportunity that's headed your way. Do not let this person come back into your life and create illusions, okay? Um, what can you expect if they do try to reach out again? What kind of things can you expect them to be talking about or saying? Just to give you guys the heads up. What does the universe want to give you the heads up about? Okay, this is about their intentions. Okay, look at that. We have union. Hmm? They want you back. No, these cycles are going to be closed out because, again, your guides see what you cannot see. Despite how you feel about this person, I feel like many of you have strong guides who are literally carrying you across some kind of finish line here for victory. Do not be afraid of this death card, guy. The death card guys. This death card is what's pushing you. The death card can be painful because certain endings are closing out. Um, chapters are closing off. Um, um, the death card too kind of represents a time in our life where you know you that people aren't as they seem um, there's heartbreak there is um, soul shock you just you need to go is what I'm getting here with the death card here okay you need to go so much to the point where many of you are getting help um, from your guides because this person's going to come in hot and heavy with this kind of union energy they miss you they're longing for you um, you know, don't be deceived by illusions either, guys, because whatever it is they're doing, whatever it is they're making, whatever illusions appear to appear on social media, I feel like many of you guys are having the last laugh because at the end of the day, they still are turning towards you and it's because there's something about your energy that, like, it's grounding. They, what I'm getting from this person, it's like they need your energy in some way to feel like a boss, I don't know what that means, but like they need your energy to feel like they can like do shit, okay? And the only when they start feeling depleted, they want to come back into your energy and um, you know obtain some of that that good sauce, that good good sauce. But a lot of you, this is why you're silent. You realized it. Look at that. You guys are covered in that sauce, and they know it. But many of you are preserving your energy now. That's why your guides are heavily stepping in. Because your guides are like, nope, not on my watch. Not on my watch. You want union? Yeah, you had the chance. Okay, what else do you need to be aware of when this person is coming towards you? Okay, they could be thinking about you a lot all up in their memories. Okay, that's why I'm saying, guys, like they could be out in the most craziest fun environments and they're going to the bathroom and checking their phone and trying to reach out to you 
um, trying to get your attention again make you check up on them see what they have going on in, in terms of enticing you to be the one to communicate okay don't fall for it I feel like because you're not falling for it you have somebody thinking you're leaving them to think right nothing's working pushing this person to be more authentic because you're not the type of person to be inauthentic with right save it for the rest okay you've left this person feeling in a state of rejection loss they're kind of feeling all over themselves here and if they're a fire sign um this could be leo aries sagittarius um you kind of you know hurt their pride here a little bit by them kind of jumping into the water hair on fire okay but i'm i feel like part of this whole experience is to be left in this energy just to be left with the memory of you and all in their thoughts okay because you know they are checking up on you constantly but i feel a strong push behind your guides almost like <laughs> i see your guides holding your head and it's like you want to look back because they're trying to play these kind of mind games with you and you're tempted to even maybe respond and like tell them off or get aggressive or give them a piece of your mind um maybe there's some of you who are tempted to be like oh hmm, should i text back to be like is everything okay like are you good but your guides are they're keeping you focused it's like when someone's head is turned and you have someone holding your head in place keeping you focused i'm also seeing a roadway so like stay in your own lane stay focused on the destination here with the death card and um the six of wands okay because remember guys this is all about persevering and persevering means there's going to be people where as you're headed towards that victory they're going to see you heading towards happiness without them and they're going to do something to try to break that down or hold you back or distract you in some way um listen to your guides okay so this could mean more meditation more time in nature um spending time with your animals this one has been crazy in terms of like sleeping on my pillow <laughs> I'm not even kidding, it's so weird. She doesn't normally do that. She'll sleep at like the corner of my bed. But she's been really weird about like, I, I, I'll i feel her in the middle of the night tippy-toeing on my pillow and, and literally like covering my head <laughs> as I sleep, okay? So it's so funny. She's been super close to me lately. So um, pay attention to stuff like that, guys, because remember we do have ancestor guides, you know, people trying to protect you. The significance of her trying to protect like my head area too. That's why I just left her. I was like, all right, you just do your thing. <laughs> I like listened to her purring away and fell asleep before I knew it. But look out for little signs like that, okay? Birds coming in, um, flying really close to you. It's like as you're walking, you're like, oh my God, because it could be like a bird just like flying next to you. That's like cutting energy, okay? So, all right, guys, that's what I have for you for this one. You guys take it easy and I'll catch you in the next one, okay? All right, bye guys.